You see, ladies and gentlemen, every mind is a magnet. Every mind is a magnet. There's no avoiding that. That is what the ancient philosophers called the law of the Lord. And the ancient philosophers also said, the Lord of the law is no respecter of persons. The law of mind works for everybody. It doesn't matter what your race, your creed, or your color may be. Your mind is a magnet. And once you understand that your mind is a magnet and that it is always drawing stuff to you, you see, somebody's already found it. Now I knew how I drew that stuff to me. If you find you're drawing the stuff that you don't like, you can learn how to become master of your mind, master of money, master of the good that you desire. And you can start drawing what you do want. Now I have what I call sometimes my, my mantra. And it's a list of all of the good things that I want to be, to do, and to have. And it defines, I believe, all of human need and desire. And it's this, good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. Did you catch it? Good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. Let's hear it. And I say that all the time, privately, as well as in my classes and in my sermons and in my seminars and workshops. Why do I keep saying that? Because this is what I want to magnetize my mind for. This is what I want my mind to be a magnet to draw and to create in my life. Good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. Let's hear it again. <laughs> now, that's what I say all the time. Why? Because again, the subconscious, which the ancient philosophers called the heart, and in the Bible it's called the heart, but Freud calls it the subconscious. The subconscious is that silent listener. And everybody has that subconscious part of the mind, which is a silent listener that hears everything you say and it is impressed by everything you feel and everything you think. A lot of people never know why certain things happen in their lives or why certain things don't and they're surprised. Like some people say to me, oh, but Reverend Ike, you tell me it's because of my thinking. I didn't think up this sickness on me. Well, the thing about it, in this world, you don't have to think up sickness and bad luck <laughs> and poverty. There is what is called the world mind that's always thinking that up for you. That's why I'm rather cautious about, and I, I advise you to be cautious about reading about what kind of flu is coming for the season. Why? Because you have a silent subconscious listener down there. And that silent subconscious listener hears that, and if it becomes impressed with that, then it'll go around having that kind of flu. And we don't want to magnetize our minds for what we do not desire. We do not want to demagnetize our minds concerning good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. And so for the next few minutes, we are going to work together. And I'm glad for this audience because we've been working together. Oh, the things you've taught me about money. I've got some new words to add, you know, as to the definition of money. Money is power. Money is freedom. Huh, let's say that again. Money is power. Money is freedom. Yes, it is. And we want to magnetize our minds to draw good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money.